let me get set up here, everybody. Thanks for being here today. I know all of us in the planning committee really appreciate seeing so many people here, especially right at the start of our event. I'm going to be talking about achieving zero inbox fame because anytime you tell someone that you have a zero email inbox, they're always like, well, how do you do that? That's really cool, right? I wish I had a zero inbox. My name, again, is Morgan Barker. I'm an instructional designer on campus. I'm organized by nature. And if you've been in my office, you know that messy is not in my vocabulary. So that's why I'm tackling this topic here, because I do have a zero inbox consistently. And how do I get that? Well, these are just my tricks, right? Work with your inbox. Number one, there's a lot of tools out there. And when you look at this presentation later on, that's an active link that shows you tools. And the article is titled, How to Make Your Inbox Suck Less. Because your inbox sucks in many ways. It sucks your time. It sucks your energy. It sucks your brain power, right? Because a lot of the emails that you get, you don't really have to deal with for long periods of time. And that's going to be my emphasis here. Delete, delete, delete. A lot of what you get, you don't need, right? One of my tactics as far as getting an email, responding to an email quickly, and then deleting it. If I don't need to hold on to that information, I'm just going to delete it right away. And once that person responds to me, it's going to come back with the full thread, right? So most of the time, I don't need to keep it. Next, check emails less often. Kind of, I, I learned this from a European boss, actually. I had an Austrian boss, and he only checked his email once a day. So at some, at some points in the day, I would come to him and say, oh, well, didn't you see this? And he said, no, nope, I haven't checked my email in six hours, and I'm not going to. And that's just the way he operated, and he saved a lot of his time and energy by doing that. Next, unsubscribe. I mean, this is a big one, right? If you look at any of these articles that I've researched in the Biblio area, the first thing they say is unsubscribe from things. I like to get all the coupons for um, alternative apparel, but when it comes down to it, if I'm actually going to buy a t-shirt, I'll go to the best day for me to buy that t-shirt to the website and check it out, right? Ultimately, financially, it touches another realm too, right? Next, use labels, stars, and whatever. Whatever works for you. Pick a method. Stick to it. That will keep your inbox far cleaner. Uh, this is my dirty secret. I have another inbox. <laughs> that just blew my whole presentation, right? So when it comes down to it, I have another inbox, but it's just for stuff, right, that I am hanging on to for the time being that I'm not looking at all the time, because that's really important as far as clarity is concerned. Next, develop your information method. Email is the worst place to keep information. Use something like Evernote, Thoughtboxes, Basecamp, another place for your important information that's more readily available. And that's it. They're just simple tricks. Hopefully, you'll use one or two of them, and it'll drastically help you in achieving in zero inbox fame. <laughs>